Alrighty guys, welcome back to your 7th C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to be going over basic C++ arithmetic. Now, I don't know, I think it was like two tutorials ago, I gave you guys a variable and I showed you guys that instead of just setting it equal to a plain old value like this, you can use basic arithmetic like 4 plus 6. And then when you go ahead and you print it out x or anything like that, it actually calculated the value and printed out the answer. So go ahead and run this and you see that x now equals 10, 4 plus 6. So aside from addition, I want to show you guys all the arithmetic operators that you can use and they're a little bit different than you might expect. So let's start with the easy ones first. The first one is subtraction and of course like 8 minus 4 this would be valid if we go ahead and build this we saw that the answer would be 4 so addition subtraction easy enough but also aside from addition and subtraction you can use multiplication but make sure not to use x like that because that'll mess up in order to multiply in computer programming you use the asterisk and that's the symbol above the 8 on your keyboard and what this is going to do is multiply these two numbers 8 times 4 so now if you go ahead and run this we should get 32 and check it out 32 just like that so the well let's go ahead and before I go over this let's go ahead and go over um, division in order to use division in computer programming let's go ahead and take 81 divided by 3 division the symbol for this is the forward slash so let's go ahead and take 81 divided by 3 and we get 27 just like that simple enough but check this out what if we have something like 81 divided by 2? Well, this, I mean, it should be 40, but it has a remainder of 1. So let's go ahead and try to build and run this and see what we get. Well, it just says 40, and that's not entirely right because it should have a remainder of 1 with it. So we're saying, all right, we're working with integers right here, and we don't know any other data types, so how can we get that remainder? Well, whenever we want to use the remainder, we need to use something called the modulus operator and that is the percent sign like this what this is going to do is it's going to give you the remainder of the answer it's not going to say 40 remainder 1 it's just going to give you that 1 so let's go ahead and build and run this and you can see that whenever we do 81 modulus 2 it's going to give us the remainder which is 1 so let me show you guys a better example um, maybe 24 modulus 7 well we know that 20 one or excuse me 24 divided by 7 is 3 with a remind with a remainder of 3 so let's go ahead and build this in again it doesn't say 3 remainder 3 it just says the remainder which is 3 simple enough so now that we know all the arithmetic operators I can begin teaching guys about order of precedence now aside from just you know one number arithmetic operator another number you can have complex calculations like 6 times 4 plus 8 times 4 plus 9 divided by 20 and if we go ahead and build and run this let's see what we get 56 we're saying all right so what order is this doing this in is it doing 6 times 4 and then plus 8 or is it doing you know 4 plus 8 and then times that by 6 because depending on how you do it it is, it's going to come out with a different result. So the basics is this. If you remember way back in like seventh grade math, you know something called your associative property, and that's pretty much this. Anything that's in parentheses gets done first. If you don't have any parentheses, it goes like this. It does all the multiplication and division, which would be this, this, and this it's going to do that first and then it's going to do your addition, addition and subtraction if you don't have if you know if you just have like 4 plus 8 plus 7 um, you're saying alright then is it going to do 8 plus 7 first or 4 plus 8 first it really doesn't matter it comes out the same either way the only time you have um, varying answers is when you have like 4 plus 3 times 7. For example, if you did 4 plus 3, it would be 7, times 7 would be 49. But whenever we run this, whoa, easy box, we get 25. Why is that? Because it uses the associative property. It actually multiplies first, which is 7 times 3, and that's 21 
plus 4, which is 25. So again, if you want to explicitly say 4 plus 3 first, you need to surround that in parentheses. So now whenever we build and run this, it's going to run your parentheses first and say, all right, 4 plus 3 equals 7 times 7 equals 49. So remember, the rule is this, parentheses first, then your multiplication and division, and then your addition and subtraction. So remember that, and if you get confused, it's called the associative property. You should have learned it in like eighth grade math or ninth grade math, or maybe seventh grade, I don't know, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. For, for now, that's all I wanna talk to you guys about, basic arithmetic and how it works in C++. So for now, that's all you guys get. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, go to my uh, website, thenewboston.com, and click on Forum, and you can ask me there. So one last time, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next video.